Hello everyone. Today we are going to export and import data of Elasticsearch. Elasticsearch is running in my Docker container. You can see currently there are two indices and we are going to export data of these indices and going to import them. If you want to see the data in the browser, we can open it using URL. So this is one of my index. You can see the data of this index. Currently it is showing 10 records only. If you want to see all the records, you need to increase the count. So this is all the raw data of this index. Now to import and export data, we are going to use an NPM module name Elastic Dump. If you see my node version, it is 10.19.0. And if you see my NPM version, it is 6.14.4. I have already installed elastic dump using command npm install elastic dump and this binary is already there in the node modules. So we are going to use this binary to export data and then we are going to use same binary to import data. If you see this command this is the parameter node underscore TLS underscore reject and underscore unauthorized is equal to zero because in my elastic search I am using HTTPS URL and there is no valid certificate so it gives security warning that's why to ignore this warning I have used this parameter and there is some username and password of my elastic search that's why I have passed in the same URL the password is in plain text so if you do not want to use plain text password, you can encode them in your base64 encryption method. First, I'm going to export the mapping of this index and then I'm going to export the data. Then I will import the mapping and then I will import the data. So I'm using this command. Here I have given type is equal to mapping and this is the URL of my Elasticsearch. Here this is the username. This is the password. This is hostname and on port 9200 it is running Elasticsearch. The output will be stored in this file bank-mapping.json. So if I run this command, the mapping is stored in this file bank-mapping.json. Now I'm going to export data of this index. So I'm going to change type is equal to data. and file name is bank hyphen data now it has exported the data in this bank data json if you see this file you can see all the thousand records are here in this file now I'm going to import this data in the Elasticsearch. So suppose this is different Elasticsearch server. You are going to import data into this server. So I am going to use different index name. First I'm going to import the mapping. So type is equal to mapping and then output is this URL because it is going to import JSON file data into our Elasticsearch server and input is this JSON file because we are going to import the data. Now you can see here the index name is share. Here I have used the index name share so it will create another index with same data its name will be share. If you are going to import data in different Elasticsearch server then you can use same index name in your Elasticsearch. Now the mapping has been imported. Now I'm going to import the data. So type is equal to data. And file name is bank data where I have exported the data. So you can see it is going to import all the data from this file to my Elasticsearch 
server with index name share so you can see now there are three third index that is share and data this is number of records ex exported So similar way you can export the data from elastic search engine and you can import them. Now one more thing I want to discuss suppose you do not want to keep data in any JSON file. So this can be done import and export can be done in single step. Here you need to provide an input URL from where you are going to export the data and in output URL, the URL of second Elasticsearch engine where you are going to import your data. So export data URL will be your input and import data URL will be your output.